Hey guys, Crew of Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Shane. Shane, uh, I'm back from the beach, and sure. apparently I missed a bunch of stuff. You picked the wrong time to go, brother. I didn't. I had a great time. It's a good time, actually, for me to have gone, because when I came back, I was just flooded with all of these requests of, like, did you see this? Did you see this? Did you see this? Yeah. I haven't seen shit. I haven't seen anything. I know there's a Rebels trailer, which is what we're going to do right now, yep. and there's a whole more a lot of stuff, but me and Shane are going to tackle this Rebels trailer. Mm -hmm. I mean, when it comes to Rebels, we don't really have a whole lot to say other than you can watch all of our Season 2 reactions yeah. and see what we have to say there, uh, and I'm looking for... I have no idea what's going to be coming, so let's check it out. Hit the button. Okay. Ahsoka! Battles lead scores. Whoa! He's got a beard! You can't see. Holy shit. I will never let my friends get hurt again. His hair's short. Yeah, he's got a crew cut. It's short or slip back. I'm afraid it's Why is his saber green? What if there are secrets we you can learn from to help us destroy the Sith? Ezra, the secrets in that thing almost destroy you. There are Imperial cadets of the Sky Strike Academy who wish to defect to the Rebels. This is Ty SS25. You can call me Wedge. Welcome to the rebellion. What? Wedge and Lee. So can we were here to break Wedge is in this? It looked like I'm from uh, the deleted scenes. My friends, my friends! Honda? I give to hey, you. She's got new hair. Reclamation. If Sabine? we could steal a squadron's work. Yes? They would be Different key colors. to building a strike fleet. Let's go get them. Everybody ready? Yep. Let's go. He looks like a Kano looks like a badass. Last glorious yeah. day in the Grand Army. Hey, yeah, that was public. droid Sam. What about battle droids? They look like Ezra from behind, his hair. Flying stormtroopers? Oh, shit. Worse. Mandalorians who serve the Empire. Is that Kaos? Weapon is Boris Beard. You haven't forgotten our ways. Maybe not. That has earned my respect. Yeah, maybe that's maybe I like that move. Yeah. Oh, shit. So what's in it for you two? You look like it the droids from the... That sort of thing. So we'll split the treasure. <laughs> split the treasure. Oh, that's a classic. <laughs> Ezra's face. Wonder. Governor Price. Ooh, Tarkin. These rebels have proven particularly stubborn. How do you intend to solve this problem? I need someone who sees a bigger picture. The Empire is getting better at anticipating our moves. I underestimated the command. Champ. Previous attacks were clumsy, but this one was swift. Besides, that. to defeat an enemy, you must know them. Not simply their battle tactics. Thrones in this? Is that him? It has to be. Uh, history. It's a chess, oh, man. It's yeah. gotta be. His eyes are all the way red, though. It, it has the art out. Grand Admiral Thrawn. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, I'm no. tearing up. Mall's back. Jedi am Sith, the light and the dark. Whoa! I'm the one in the middle. What is that? This needs to slow down, it's going too fast. Once a secret is known, it cannot be unknown. Your anger gives you strength. Uh, I will the rebels apart, piece by piece. Sounds like a badass. Sounds like I a must star. become more powerful. They'll be the architects of their own destruction. <laughs> Whoa, he has a shirt on! Shit! <laughs> That's away before it's too late! That was Kanan. Oh my gosh! Damn. Is there any more? <sighs> Eric loves that Darksaber. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, I don't like the dark saber, but I like that Satine has it, or Sabine. I like that she has it though, because I mean I don't like the saber because I just don't like the I don't like a dark saber. I think it's stupid, but it's a Mandalorian sword. She's a Mandalorian. It mm -hmm. works, right? That's cool. Yeah. Well, if someone showed me a cover of a book of a Thrawn book. I'm like, sweet to bring a Thra Thrawn in. That's cool. I. Yeah, but actually, I, I didn't know he's on Rebels. I did see the cover of that book. Yeah, and it's, and it's, it's, t it's Timothy Zahn. Yeah, I was like, okay, they're gonna reintroduce Thrawn into the new canon. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Where's it gonna be? Is it gonna be after Jedi, like it was last time yeah. with Heir to the Empire? I love those books. I've probably read those books twenty times. I have, they I, I have a set of those books that are falling apart. The paperback. Yeah, I mean, I've read them so much. 
they're a person responsible for introducing a lot of people to the EU canon. Well, of course. I mean, they were one of the first, like, big comebacks, you know, yeah. after the original trilogy. So for him to come back, yeah. So I guess for him well, to come not, back and it's, write... It's not even come back, because this would be before we saw him in that in the Legends continuity, right? Yeah, but, so, he, he, yeah, but he met Palpatine before episode four. Well, bef- right? well, we knew that Thrawn was banished to the, like, Outer Rim because of shit he had done. You know what I really like? He impressed Palpatine. Isn't that how it was? I think so, yeah. I mean, And then Palpatine brought back later. Now, in that that Legends continuity, the Empire is very xenophobic, hate aliens, Thrawn being a chiss. You know, he wasn't, you know, but he was so fucking good, they didn't care, you know? Yeah, I think we still kind of see that. I hope we still really kind of see that. Well, I mean, in terms of what Thrawn is, uh, what I really appreciate uh, in this trailer is... You probably see it in the reaction because they're talking about this new commander, and he has art all around him. Yeah, and that is Thrawn's. He studies the art. signature thing. Like he, want, he studies he, they, culture. They even said it there. He studies culture. He studies art. Mm-hmm. Right? There's like a little. Uh, there's a thing in one of the Thrawn books where it's like describing this like warrior's mask, like this bone colored mask or something. Yeah, and it was like retcon to be General Grievous's original face pl- plate. You know, plate. Oh, that's pretty bad. Which was kind of cool because uh, you know he would have studied someone like Grievous, but. Yeah. Just that they have the art all around him and he's studying these people. That's cool. That's going to be great because that's a character that's not Vader. If you have Vader in these, he can't lose too much. Yeah. But these guys won't be able to win if he isn't, you know? Yeah. Where Thrawn, you can you can have an iconic character. You know, as iconic as Vader, of course. But you can have an iconic EU character like that come in. And what do you think of his voice? I kind of got a hint of Jeremy Irons a little bit. Okay. You know, Alfred from yeah. Batman. You yeah. Know, you know? I kind of got a hint of that a little bit, which I remember years ago seeing like a fan cast and someone casted him as Thrawn. Oh, really? Yeah. Dude, that's crazy. Okay, there's so much more, though, that I had just a second to see, but Kanan has his new look. He has a faceplate over his eyes now, right? Yeah, because he got blinded. Yeah. Do you want to do a real quick scrub through? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so, hmm. I think he's wearing an Oculus Rift. Yeah, <laughs> but bit. you see, like where like the that design looks like their eyes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. I he he has a new outfit too. Gone is the uh, Kyle Katarn shoulder pad. I'm not sure if his hair's short or if it's slicked back. I think it's short. I think it's short. When I first saw him, I kind of got a hint of Star Killer a little bit from Force Unleashed One. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So he did lose his saber, didn't he? I, I kind of forgot about that. Yeah. Vader chopped it in half. Yeah. I, think I actually just watched it earlier today. Does that move? <sighs> yeah. Of course. Um. But it's green now. Uh, I know Dave Filoni definitely uh, puts a lot of thought into the colors of the sabers. You know, it's kind of Legends continuity, but green is more of a consular, right? There's nothing really about the green color that makes it seem more dark. It's still a Jedi color, so I don't, I don't know. I'm interested. Maybe they just want a different color. I, I guess, maybe. Okay, um, let's listen to this real quick. Is this implying, like, another fulcrum, maybe? Listen to this. It's a distorted thing giving them advice. Imperial cadets. Imperial cadets. Imperial cadets are wishing to defect to the rebels. That's a something strike academy. You. This sounds like Agent Callus to me. Does this sound like Callus to you? I remember last time Callus with the beard, you know? Yeah. Who I thought maybe that one Mandalorian was Callus, but I don't know if he is or not. Um, but remember Callus last time? He uh, he kind of had that uh, episode with. Uh, Zeb, remember? Yep. And he kind of got disenfranchised a little bit from the Empire. Mm-hmm. Is it possible that he, we may, might see a a turncoat in him? I don't know. That There's something uh, about the inflection there that kind of screams callous to me. I don't know. It's funny that we didn't see him at all during the trailer. True. Yeah. So maybe. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. I don't know. That's interesting. I, it, it's kind of it's kind of reminiscent of Ahsoka and the Fulcrum reveal, you know? Yeah. So maybe we'll get another mystery like that. Okay, wait. So this is Wedge. You can call me Wedge. There, left. Yeah, okay. It does kind of look like him. I think he has a mustache, doesn't he? Speaking of bigs. Oh, yeah, yeah, all right. Shit. I guess it's implying that Wedge was a member of the uh, of the Empire, right? And yeah. defected, which I guess most Rebels are going to be. I yeah. wonder if they're going to bring in, like, the 181st Legion, like, soon Fintel or whatever. Because if they're bringing Thrawn in, why not do that? I don't hmm. know. Okay, it's interesting. Pff, shit, there's a lot in these trailers. These guys know how to make a fucking trailer, don't they? Yeah. Whoa! Oh shit! Hold on! That ship right there! 
Is that the Outrider? Is that Dash Rendar's ship? I don't know. That They can't bring Thrawn and Dash Rendar into this, right? So that's definitely a YT-2400, right? I don't that's know. Dash Rendar's it's, ship. It, it's just like it looks the like it from a video game. Yeah, it's like the Falcon. It has the, the, thing, the on, thing off of the side. Oof, oh, man, if they brought Dash into this, it would be pretty crazy. But they can't bring Dash and Thrawn, right? I can't I think it would be cool if they can't bring back Prince Shizor. Sizor? In the audiobook it says Shizor. But yeah, I don't know. I say Zizor when I read it. Xor. That's definitely a YT twenty four hundred, which they do have in the special edition of Star Wars: A New Hope. So, these are badass looking droids. They remind me of the Force Unleashed. Well, yeah, Force Unleashed had dark troopers, which were also from the EU, from uh, Dark Dark Forces, I think. But those things are look a little new to me, at least. I'm not sure. Okay, uh, he's got pictures of Ezra, Ezra and something else, like stained glass thing on the left. Now, you know why I love this shot, Thrawn has a yellow lizard. I mean, he has two of them, but he has a yellow lizard on his shoulder, yeah. right? In the in the novel, he had the... Uh, when you read something, it's really hard to pronounce it, because I have no fucking clue how it's pronounced, yeah. but the y- Salamari or something like that, which are these yellow lizards that create a bubble in the Force, because the planet they're from, uh, all the predators use the Force to hunt, okay. so these things have evolved a natural Force repellent. Yeah. So he went and collected all these fucking things, and that would protect him from force users. Like, you couldn't do anything to him like that. That's pretty cool. So, that will be interesting. But I like the little homage there. Because yeah. as soon as I saw that, I was almost distracted from my reaction of it. It's Thrawn to, like, oh my gosh, look yeah. at that. Yeah. That's a cool little subtle hint they put in there. I really enjoy that. I think, I think you should look a little more blue. I don't think so. I think it's a good one. I mean, that's, that's actually kind of what it looked like, and... The chiss have looked like. Yeah. I mean, there's different blue shades, you know? A good point. Like, in the Star Wars World Republic, you can have, like, all different shades of them, right? Yeah. I tell you, I loved the chiss when I was a kid. I thought the design was so cool. And it's just fucking red eyes and blue skin. Humanoid. You yeah. You know? But I remember in uh, Jedi Outcast, playing Kyle Katarn in Jedi Outcast, and Kyle and Kanan kind of have uh, similarities a little bit, especially with the shoulder pad, which Kanan no longer has. But in that game, there's a... Uh, there's a bartender that's a chiss. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, sweet, that's awesome. And then now you can play him in Star Wars The Old Republic and everything, but whew, Thrawn is the original. I always thought chiss had, like, solid red eyes, but he's, think, he's, I, he's got the pupil. I think they always did. Yeah. But maybe it's... What makes sense is if you're up close, you see the pupils. I guess so. If you're so. far away, it looked more solid red. I thought it was always solid red, and then they kind of, like, saw an infrared or something like that. I don't, I don't know. That's, it's legends like, now, right? Are combining look like the hol- Sith, Sith and Jedi holocrons. Can you combine holocrons? What would that do? Holocrons, it's of course, super all- holocron. Well, yeah, holocrons always well in legends or I don't know about now, but they always have like a uh, a guardian right inside of them. So would that like reconfigure and I don't know what the fuck it did Revan come out? This reminds me of something out of like the late eighties or the eighties and nineties. This like something out of Neverending Story. Or- yeah, kinda. Some shit, yeah. Or Willow. When it first popped up, I thought it was one of those things in Nice Little Republic that would hunt you on Korriban. Gives you strength. Okay, that voice sounds exactly like the voice that came out of the Holocron for the Vader fight, right? Kind of like Ventress a little bit. Oh, yeah. Well, or, the, or then, Dar- then, then the, the voice of Ventress play that? Uh, yeah, I believe so. When we were watching it, I kind of thought it sounded like Treya from, from uh, Kotor 2. Kotor 2. Yeah. Okay, maybe that's coming back with the whole... Because he does have the holocron. What the fuck am I thinking? I'm such a stupid person. Okay, that, is, that green shit, that reminds me of Mother Towson a little bit. Reminds me of fucking Anastasia. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but doesn't it remind you a little bit of uh, Towson and Night Sister magic? Yeah, it Like does. Savage Repress and yeah. stuff like that? I mean, that would make sense with Darth Maul being back in here again. Whoa! Yeah. I didn't see that. The what the is fuck it? is that? Why does Ken have glowing green eyes? You fucking these superpowered Jedi now. He's got Flubber. He's got Flubber going through his veins. <laughs> Flubber. I fly that movie. <laughs> okay. All right. Well. Shit. I thought Vader says... I mean, Maul says something. That's Ezra. Yeah. The key to destroying the Sith. I mean, Maul, who is no longer a Sith, I guess he would want to destroy the Sith. Yeah. That's probably what Ezra... That's, I mean, that's exactly what Maul was trying to get Ezra with, right? Yeah. How to destroy the Sith. They have the same goal. I mean, of course, he'll never be redeemed. He's going to be a straight villain, but... Hmm. I didn't know. I, I didn't expect to see him again so soon. Maul? Yeah. You know who's completely absent from this? Vader. 
Well, that and Ahsoka. Yeah. No Ahsoka. Well, I did watch a one-hour panel on Dave Filoni and Ashley Eckstein and one of the story guys, not... Pablo Hidalgo? Yeah, really nice. Talked a lot about that. But A lot uh, about Ahsoka being in the... They talked about mean? her and whether she lived or died, and he said he was very sure he was going to be done with Ahsoka after season two, and he doesn't usually do this, but because of such strong fan reaction, he says he, we won't see the last of her. It doesn't mean we'll see her the way we want to see her. But he says we have. Wait, so you you're you're trying to say that because the fans liked her so much, it changed his his idea about. He made it sound like he's he made it sound like it didn't necessarily change it. He was really. Isn't that what you just said? He said he doesn't normally do this. He doesn't normally do this. But because fan reaction was so great, we might not have seen the last of her. But it's not going to be what you think. So, so maybe so it we might will, be a flashback. So what you're saying is that we would have seen the last of her, and then he was sure that she was done. Okay. But he was probably never going to say whether she lived or died. Hmm. Okay. Uh, <sighs> All right. I mean, he did say right after the finale, though, that he doesn't think Ahsoka's business is finished. So it kind of contradicts what he said. But he probably was to think about bringing her back in Rebels. Well, from what you're saying, though, you're saying like she might have unfinished business, but you'll never see it. Well, we know there's a. They announced this too. They they're making a Ahsoka novel. Yeah, I did. I did see the novel stuff. And he has personally written a lot of stuff for it, like notes. So he provided a lot of the notes about what Ahsoka was doing mm-hmm. and everything. Yeah, I read that it takes written. place like right after Order sixty six, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, hmm. uh, okay. By the way, and what's really fucking cool is when they were in a, Ashley Eckstein didn't know this either, but one of the can't, there's three more Ahsoka articles. Basically, they track down Maul, Ahsoka, and her partner she's running around in 1313 with so they contact Kenobi and Skywalker and they fucking team up and they're gonna go get Maul okay she but, contacts the Jedi yeah okay saying hey you know I'm, you need, we, we need to we need to fix this so but Yoda contacts and says hey Chancellor's been kidnapped we need Ken- All right, Ken- Kenobi and Skywalker so Ahsoka goes to do it with her friend okay, I can't remember his name and then, then Anakin where where are they at uh, I can't remember Okay. But Anakin was like, I'm not going to leave you alone. Mm-hmm. So he fucking, this is hanger doors open. Yeah. And he's giving them half the 501st. And they have fucking orange markings under fucking helmets. Oh, really? Like, like her. With, with Rex? Uh, with, yeah, and that's why he's not in the movie. Okay, I was going to say, because if you give him the 501st, there's no Rex in the 501st in the movie. That yeah, would make and sense. And that's why he's not in the movie. And so it's Wait, like, what markings do they have? Like patterns of like Ahsoka, like they're orange instead of blue. Fuck, that's awesome. And fucking Ashley Eckstein started crying. I started crying. I'm gonna cry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's really cool. So they're. Pro- I I like that, but I almost don't like hearing it because that would mean that we might not ever see it. We probably won't. Yeah. Yeah, he was saying Shit. we probably won't see it in any kind of form. But uh, he said it. He said they could they consider it to have happened. Cause, and that's why Darth Maul said, oh, Lady Tano. Yeah, and because Maul, and, he Maul never about, met her. Well, he, he, no, yeah, but he so did. So what, what you're saying is like they kind of just continued the story as if they were able to show Yeah, he had a episodes. fan, he had to put Sam Witwer in. He, I mean, he had to fill in Sam Witwer and Ashley Eckstein said, you guys did meet right during the events of episode three and fought. He, yeah, so <laughs> they've known about it. Oh, they fought then. Yeah, they did fight. And then, cool. and then, uh, and then she ends up escaping uh, and, he, and she ends up going on this huge wolf or something. Because <laughs> he loves wolves. He does he, love wolves. And he hates monkeys. <laughs> yeah, he hates monkeys. Ash, Because he called Ashley Eckstein. What's that to do with anything? Because he called Ashley Eckstein. He's like, hey, I'm going to put a little animal in your boot. Okay? And he said, what oh. do you want? He said, monkey. And then he literally is like, yeah, and I hate... I hate... <laughs> I, I hate not going to mon- do that. <laughs> I hate monkeys. Yeah. John Favreau recently came out with a movie called The Jungle Book, and it's a perfect the way it epitomizes... Wolves as good and monkeys as bad. <laughs> he said that. He said that in the panel. Yeah, it that's was funny. Like, he does love wolves. Yeah, he's but, always he, he has that wolf design that he loves so yeah. much. You know, it's fun. Well, they're huge, like direwolf type things. Like, because basically they're being chased through these trees, and then what happens is uh, they look behind them and they realize they weren't trees; they were the legs of these wolves. Well, shit! How big are these wolves? Huge. And he shows a drawing of them. Okay. But also, uh, what's really cool is like he does what we do like he's showing drawings and stuff like Maul we go hey there's Sam up there on his throne I mean Maul up there on his throne oh yeah yeah so we're talking about our things like there's Shane oh I mean his character sure sure I get you okay. yeah so he, they refer to themselves as the character Maul on his throne are you talking about uh, Mandalore yeah okay yeah I think he was, I think they're at Mandalore so he was at Mandalore he's terrorizing Mandalore yeah and they found, they found so they, he was at Mandalore Anakin and Obi-Wan are there to help and they had to leave pretty much yeah hmm. okay 
Well, that completely overrides the uh, the micro series, doesn't it? Good. No, I'm just kidding. No, I mean I, I don't. I love the I, I don't mind the micro series is not canon, but yeah. I like that part with the with Anne getting his, those tattoos and shit on him. From that the was slopes, badass. You know? He's using a force; his hand explodes. Oh! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was cool. Okay. All right, we've been talking for a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a lot of Rebels to come. We will be doing a, like a Q&A thing before Rebels comes back on. Now, are they going to do what they did last year and show, like, you know, because they had, like, the uh, the Vader intro last year, and then it, like, was months later when they picked it back up, wasn't it? They actually did air the first season, I mean, the first episode already. Air? They, at, at Celebration, it showed oh. I mean... I was like, how fucking how long have I been at the beach? Like, wait, they aired it. <laughs> no. What are we doing this for? <laughs> no, no. Okay. They, uh, so uh, advanced screening. Yeah. Okay. And that makes IGN sense. IGN said it was. It's hard to top the Vader in the first episode, but they said it was really good. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna be very hard to top that last yeah. confrontation. Yeah, because yeah, so yeah, Vader and Ahsoka shows up and all that stuff. But yeah, it's they said it was really good. Well, one thing they talked about it is how much the characters it shows how the characters have changed, which is good. You see character development a lot. Yeah. And everyone's a little different. Well, Zabble's exactly the same. Chopper, I'm well, sure, I mean, has really gone on a journey and changed. He's probably a good person now. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Exciting time to be a fan. It is. We got some good stuff coming. I just, I can't believe when I meet a Star Wars fan that loves Star Wars as much as I do, and they're like, yeah, I don't watch Rebels. Yeah, they, they're I mean, probably going to go to hell. They I should. They should. I mean, I don't believe in such a place, but if it exists, I want it to be made up entirely of those people. The people who hate Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Rebels. <laughs> yeah. No, they they should have at least have some kind of purgatory time, so they can watch Rebels and then they can get into heaven. <laughs> there you go. Right. That sounds well, real. Probably sh- the new Pope probably agrees with that. <laughs> I'm sure he does. Francis, good guy. Francie. Francie, old France. Yeah. France. F dog. Yep. Okay. That's that's all we can do. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. I know a lot of you were waiting for it. We're going to hell. We might be. <laughs> <laughs> uh so uh, make sure you guys are going down in the description. All the links to our social media are down there. Blindwave.net has some stuff. Uh, you can like and subscribe. <laughs> make sure you guys are subscribing because we will be doing a reaction to every single episode of uh, Star Wars Rebels. You can go back and watch all of our Season 2 reactions. Yeah. And we can't wait for more. Um, we now have to, We I, have to. Yeah. We can't. Now i got to wait for Aaron so I can watch this Rogue One thing. That yeah, me and Calvin already watched it. Yeah. So I'm going to be doing that. We're gonna and he the- had to edit it. With his eyes closed. <laughs> I didn't. I just edited the, the the front and the end, and then I just assumed you guys were good in the middle. Because I'm like, I can't cut this. So I, I, I lined it up, I hit play, and then I what skipped if we, ahead. What if we said something really bad? And I just took that chance. All right. Well, no one has said I can't that. imagine you guys would say something really bad while watching something so great. Good point. I mean, what would you have said? You know, the thing about you know, Donald Trump is he's right. <laughs> Okay. All right. uh, That's everything. We'll see you guys later. I'm Eric. I'm Shane. Button. Shane. But why? It's a strange button head.